good Aowen. Um, we are now good to go. Okay. Just waiting for it to connect. Yeah, but I'm it, wondering. It, it's working. Yeah, it's going. So we're good? Okay, thanks. Um, I got a box of my, oh dear, 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 where'd that go? Okay. There's a machine on here that, oh, there, okay. Okay, sorry, something came up that wouldn't go away. All right, I will officially call the meeting to order and uh, can we get a certification of quorum, please? Uh, yes, we currently have more than 50% of the members present. Alrighty, thank you. So I have a couple of remarks here. Um, on August 29th, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry was designated as the ministry responsible for administering the Conservation Authorities Act. Moving forward, the Ministry of the Environment, Conservation and Parks no longer has duties, functions, or responsibilities under the CA Act. The GRCA bylaw will be updated to reflect this change in the near future when additional updates can be incorporated at the same time. So interesting news there. Second item is GRCA is pleased to welcome Joe Farwell as the interim director of the Water Management Division. The board will recall Joe's significant experience in engineering and flood management prior to his retirement in 2019. So there's good news there and welcome back, Joe. Good to see you again. We'll look, forward you, your, we'll look forward to your next retirement. All right. And then we'll move, <laughs> move right into a review of the agenda. I have a motion that the agenda for the general membership meeting be approved as circulated. Moved by Bernie, seconded by John. Any opposed? That is carried. Thank you. Are there any declaration of pecuniary interest? Hearing and seeing none. Minutes of the previous minutes. Motion that the minutes of the general membership meeting of August 26, 2022 be circulate, approved as circulated, moved by Jerry, seconded by Les. Any opposed? That is carried, thank you. Alrighty, uh, moving up to business arising, previous minute, well, I guess, 7.1, update to return in person meetings. Karen, I think you got a little. Uh, yes, thanks, Chair White. So we are, we believe we are prepared to go for a hybrid meeting in October. So we will be circulating instructions um, and we are asking that you reply in whatever manner we request in the communication about whether you'll be attending in person or remotely, um, just so that we can really fine tune the, the technology setup and try and work out any bugs before they arise. Uh, so Aon will be sending out information in an email. We would just ask that you re respond accordingly, please. Are there any questions about that? So will we'll, those who can come down to the chamber, please do so and uh, let, let staff know. Um, and we'll see how it works out. We all know there's blips with this stuff, but I'm sure at least we're getting, getting back to normal a little bit with that. Just one little sidebar, and it's a bit of a nit, but I'm going to put it out there. One of the things, th they usually put out some fruit and so forth, but I think just in the, and I'm not nitpicking and trying to save money, but we're going to skip that until we figure out exactly how the in-persons are going to work. There'll be coffee and tea there, but unless there's strong objections, we don't want to buy a bunch of food and have it sitting there going, going to waste. It does, is that, I, I know it sounds, I, I think it's just a wise move until we know exactly where we're going to be. And staff have to go out and get it and there's all kind of things involved and then it just sits there. So is, so that's, that's what we're going to do until everybody gets back in and then we'll sort out where we want to go with that. But there, there will be coffee, tea and, and whiskey for Guy. So there we go. Thank you. Okay. So do I need a motion on this one or just that's for information? Uh, you could get a motion for information, but I, I think, you know, we previously communicated that we were targeting the October date. Okay. Update. So, so that's just direction to board members. You'll get an email. Sure. Let us know if you're coming down or not. And then we'll take it from there. Okay. Uh, moving right along to reports 12.1 progress report number two. Um, through you, Mr. Chair, this is just the required update from MECP on the progress for the transition plan and the MOUs. So you'll notice in the report, not much different from the first one, except that we are hosting a webinar at the beginning of October for the municipalities so that they can get a better understanding of what the category two programs and services are that will kick off sort of the initiation of the negotiations for the category two MOUs. If there's any questions, I'd be happy to take them. Okay, thank you, Sam. Uh, anyone? 
Comments, questions? Okay, we seem to be working our way through this process. I have a motion that progress report number two be approved, circulated to all participating Grand River watershed municipalities, posted on the Grand River Conservation Authority website and submitted to the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry in accordance with Ontario Regulation 687.21. Moved by Richard, seconded by Ian. Any opposed? That is carried, thank you. Moving along to 12.2 ad hoc committee. Um, the minutes are there. I'll, I'll put the motion on the floor and see if there's any questions. Is that all right? Okay. Uh, motion that the minutes of the ad hoc Conservation Authorities Act Committee meeting held on September 12, 2022 be received as information. Moved by Marcus, seconded by Ian. Any comments or questions? Okay, uh, any opposed? That is carried, thank you. Okay, moving right along to 12.2.1. So this is with regards to uh, trying to get an extension of the chair. So if you recall, they cut the chair's uh, seating down, uh, term down to two years. There's multiple CAs and so forth that are appealing this and trying to extend it. We asked for two things initially, one was the rotation, and I think we've got clarity on that. It's not a permanent rotation. If, to tell me if I'm getting this wrong. In other words, if it's with Guelph Aramasa, it can't go to Guelph Aramasa next time, but that doesn't mean you got to go all 22 municipalities, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, so that one, we, we've got a little more flexibility there. And then what we're asking for is a potential two-year extension for chair and vice chair going forward as a permanent thing, and we'll, we'll see what comes back and completely up to the board. Remembering, of course, there's an election every single year. So even if you approve this, doesn't mean you're approving a specific chair. So the motion, um, and this is a, a recorded vote required under the legislation. The motion is that the Grand River Conservation Authority submits a request to the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry for an exception as per Section 17 of the Conservation Authorities Act to the two-year term for chair and vice chair of the Grand River GRCA Board of Directors to allow up to four one-year consecutive terms for chair and vice chair. And remember, it used to be five years for us. We're looking at four we'll, if the board is interested. So it's a recorded vote, correct, Karen? Yes, yes if we could get a mover and seconder and then I, I can go through the list for okay. the recording. I'll do a move and it's, okay, moved by Helen, seconded by Les. Are there any comments or questions before we move to a vote? Okay, Karen, back to you. Okay, um, so I'm just going to go down the list and if you could please advise if you are in favor or opposed. I'll be reading all names, so if somebody isn't here, then I'll subsequently mark them as absent. Uh, Les Armstrong. In favor. James Erb. In favor. Sue Foxton. In favor. Michael Harris. Absent. Helen Jowett? In favor. Jeff Lorenz? He's absent. Catherine McGarry? In favor. Jane Mitchell? In favor. Joe Nowak? He's here, absent. Warren Stoke? Also absent. Bernie Corbett? In favor. Dan Lawrence. In favor. John Chalmer. In favor. Marcus Adili. Favor. Bruce Bambury. In favor. Richard Carpenter. In favor. Kevin Davis. In favor. Bob Bell? In favor. Kathy Downer? In favor. Guy Gardhaus? In favor. Bruce Whale? In favor. Jerry Smith? In favor. Ian McCray? In favor. Chris White? In favor. Brian Coleman, he's absent. Okay, uh, Joan Gabbard. 
In favor. Okay, uh, of the members present, all are in favor. So thank you, we have that recorded vote um, and the submission will be sent. All right, Karen, thanks very much. And thank you everyone for that. Uh, moving right along to 12.3 minutes of the ad hoc board composition motion that the minutes of the ad hoc board composition committee meeting held on September 16th, 2022 be received as information as amended. There's one change in there. We've got the word agenda and it should be minutes or it's minutes, it should be agenda. Can't remember which way, uh, sorry. So moved by Joan, seconded by John. Comments or questions? Any, any opposed? That is carried, thank you. Cash and investment motion that the report number GM 092276 cash and investment status, August, 2022 be received as information. Moved by Bernie, seconded by Guy. Any opposed? Any questions? Sorry, did I do that? Yes, any opposed? That is carried. Financial summary motion that the financial summary for the period ending August 31st, 2022 be approved. Moved by Marcus, seconded by Sue. Comments, questions? Any opposed? That is carried. All right, 12.6 uh, human resources policy update. Motion that human resources policy 1.4 acceptable use of information and information technology resources be amended, approved and implemented effective September 23rd, 2022. Moved by Marcus, seconded by Ian. Comments or questions or anything from anybody on this? Any opposed? That is carried, thank you. Current watershed conditions, motion that report number GM 092274, current watershed conditions as of September 14th, 2022 be received as information. Um, we're just gonna see if there's any questions on this. Joe's just new in the seat and I know he'll be nervous. So we've got a, some other folks who can answer questions at this time. So any comments or questions on the current watershed conditions? All right, can I get a mover please? Moved by Les, seconded by Dan. Any opposed? That is carried. All right, well, there you go. Um, none of that is required. We're gonna go into closed. Motion that the general membership enter a closed meeting in accordance with the Municipal Act Section 239 for the following purposes, labor relations or employee relations. The motion to go in, please, Sorry. John, sorry? Sorry, I'm not sure if Jane Mitchell had something she wanted to say before we. Oh, I'm sorry. Up. Go ahead, Jane. My, my are we doing? Are we doing other business after the in camera? Oh, sorry. I can do it now. My, I, did I? When Warren isn't here, I just strike it right off the agenda. But um, yes, let, let's do it now. I, I so. can't help that he's in Europe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Jane. No, I just had a question uh, from a from a, a person. Uh, they were at Laurel Creek and uh, some of the picnic tables were burned. And I just wanted to ask if they just wanted to know when they would be replaced and that they felt really bad seeing that. Yeah, through you, Chair, um, I can certainly follow that answer right okay. off the top of my head. Thank okay. you. You can, you can email me. Yeah, I mean, these right. things happen. What can you do? No, yeah. certainly. Yes, I, I certainly will. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's Thank it. you, Chair. Thank you, Jane. So I have a motion on the floor to go into closed. Can I get a mover, please? Did I do that? I did by... not yet. Sorry? Not yet, no. Okay, moved by Jane, seconded by John. Thank you. So um, we have a couple of motions here coming out of closed. I have a motion that the minutes of the previous closed session be approved as circulated, moved by Marcus, seconded by Jane. Any opposed? That is carried, thank you. Next motion, 17-2, financial consideration. Motion that a new reserve be created called Water Management Operating Reserve via transfer of $1 million from the Water Control Structures Reserve to this new reserve. Reserve moved by John, seconded by Kathy. Any opposed? That is carried, thank you. All right, I think that does it for today. I wanna to thank everyone for coming up and hopefully we'll see some of you in person at the end of October, just a couple of days before Halloween. So costumes are acceptable. Uh, so 
that uh, <laughs> less is going to come. Okay. Anyway, thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next month. Motion to adjourn. Uh, a motion to adjourn. Moved by Les, seconded by Jane. Any opposed? Uh, what? All those that are running, I wish you all the best. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. You, you're, you're much closer to the end of this than the beginning. All right. <laughs> any, any opposed to adjournment? Seeing now we are. Chris, can I say one thing Please, before yeah. we leave? Yeah. I just want to, I know we talked about it and there was some talk there before the uh, meeting started, but um, as a fellow counselor to Councillor Corbett, I just want to say in, on behalf of myself and, uh, and my family as well, it's been a great learning experience being beside Bernie at our council table. I don't think many people really understand what a class individual or they understand what a class individual and full of integrity is, but just how prepared um, he is for every meeting he attends. And sitting beside him it has been such a great learning process. Um, when I did take my chair as, uh, as a newbie in 2018. Um, so I just wanted to say that before this group that Councillor Corbett is gonna be really missed, not only by myself, especially, um, but also by all our council table and the constituents. Uh, we wish him the best of luck as he's moving forward to hopefully join the school board as a trustee. Um, but I just wanted to echo my sentiments uh, on behalf of myself, um, just, what a true gem that Bernie is and, and has given so much service over the years. Because as we all know, as elected officials and volunteers, that this can be thankless at time and just mind boggling. And uh, especially as we're, uh, we're heading into what we call silly season as well, municipally. So anyways, Bernie, tip of the hat, buddy. It's been great uh, being beside